All right, welcome back to um, MTG Next Door. This is Stitch, and I'm going to open as many of the rest of these packs as I can in the 15 minutes or so I have allotted. Um, just before I get started, oh, see, I knew this knife would break eventually. Oh, no, it didn't break. Before I get started, just to note, um, this is, tomorrow starts week 15 of quarantine for me. Um, Anybody who's been watching these videos, uh, it's been fun to make them. So, uh, you know, keep in touch, leave some comments at the bottom, make fun of us, whatever you want. Uh, I did go and buy another box of Acoria, and I bought another um, <clears throat> pre-release pack. I'm addicted to the damn pre-release pack, even though they, ca they keep effing me directly in the B. So, uh, I don't know what it is about them. You know, right now you can get them with uh, two... Um, what do you call it? Prize pack. So it's like eight packs for $27. It's, it's not bad. And you get a foil. So anyway, let's move this off screen. Grab a couple of these packs. Very slowly open so as not to damage myself or the cards. As you'll see, I am not using um, that deadly thing. <laughs> that I ripped up a mythic with the last video. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go through these. Anything, I'll stop on anything that's interesting. Um, these are mostly draft cards. Enchanting creatures don't like to do it. Jail up a creature. So double strike, oh, the deadly double strike. Wait, is this the double strike one? Yes, double strike. Flying squirrel. Is it flying? No, it can be flying. It, it depends how hard you throw them. Uh, I say that, it's terrible. It's not a day goes by where I don't see a dead squirrel in the neighborhood. Poor things. Uh, dead Eye, that's your first five. Honey Mammoth, got about ten of those now. Vigilance, two, four, for three. Suffocating Fumes. Got a Heron with some mechanic I don't understand. Draft card, no foil. All right, so we've got the crystal of um, white, black, and green. We've got a Flying Haste 1-1. You know, I didn't even think to mention it. This is a brand new computer I'm recording this video on. Uh, my monitor went out in my primary computer, so uh, I hope this works. I did not do a test. Flying Haste. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 counter on it. Being great for the colors. Flame Splill. Flame still does 4 damage to target creature, excess damage is dealt to his controller, so it's a 4 damage trample fire spell. And no mythic. Uh, I mean, I'm complaining, I've gotten 4 mythics in this box. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, you know, it's a 4 mythic box. What do we got here? Legendary creature, Cat Beast. So, 1 and 2 split mana. Kahira, the Orphan Guard. 3-2. Uh, so it's got Companion. Don't ask me to understand Companion. I think these are all probably banned in uh, EDH anyway. But So 3-2 with Vigilance. Each other creature you control that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast gets 1-1 one, one and has Vigilance. Not bad. So those things all needed a mom. And here she is. Or he. It could be, you know, it could be a stay-at-home dad. And the trash cards. Let's open up another pack. Open up another pack. With the safe knife. The safe knife. All right, what do we got here? Man Serval, Cat Vigilance. Okay, so return a permanent and draw a card. We'll never play that. That is so useless. First strike. And then some monkey would gets 2-0 when you cycle a card. So you'll only get that in your draft, so enjoy it while it lasts. There's a Honey Math again for pack two in a row. There's your, I don't know, I think these are, it's Doc, Doc, you were calling them Japanese art? I mean, I guess the Japanese really want to be terrified when they look at a magic card, but not too terrified, so they do the art in crayon. Mutate for three in a black. Whenever you, this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. You know, I like that. And one day I'm going to figure out what mutate means and how to do it. And then I'll have forgotten about this card by then. That's five. Joy target creature. Put a menace counter on a creature control. 
Ugh, trash. Okay, draft card. Another draft card, or, uh, you know, yeah, draft card. So, prevent all damage. Of, oh, yeah, this is, that, this is the fog. Best common in the set right there. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, no flow. So, we got a flying cat. Flying cat. And let's look at the uncommons. When this enters the battlefield, put a flying cat on target non human creature you control. What is it? What is he doing? He's got a chicken goat and he's kicking it off a cliff. That's fucked up. Right, anyway. Uh, for three, tap, put a woman counter on each creature you control with flying. So there's a couple of these cards that are pumping flyers. Uh, mutate, whatever that means. It's a spider. It's kind of a watercolor, too. I like it. I like the artwork. Don't understand what the card says. We got, oh, mythic. Is that a mythic? Nope, that's uncommon. <laughs> Man, I'm not getting any smarter. <laughs> Second uncommon. Yep, dumb. Uh, escape protocol. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay one. When you do, exile target artifact or creature you control, then return it to a battlefield under its owner's control. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for two seconds I thought Brago, but then, like, why are you cycling? Why? Oh, it's this damn thing again. The cave painting of the bird thing. This is a sorcery four and uh, two, and, uh, two and two red. Mythos of Vadrock deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If you paid white and blue to, spell, to cast a spell until your next turn, those permanents can attack or block and their activated abilities can't be activated. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a really bad rare. Tell me why this is good. I can't understand it. Every one of these cave painting rares has sucked. I should go up this time. Oh, that's a bad idea. I think I just dented the cards. Oh no, nope, it was just this one. Yeah, if you see her across the table at your Friday Night Magic, just get the hell out of there. She's going to swallow your soul. Yeah, she's the girl from every horror movie you've ever seen where the girl is the actual ghost slash monster slash demon slash alien. It's her. Somehow Wizards of the Coast got her. All right, Dragon Love. Four damage. Jellyfish. Trample, yep. Oh, yeah, this guy. See, I thought I had pulled a bunch of these, but when I was sorting cards last night, I noticed I only had one. So let's read it again. One for a one one, trample. For four, Almighty Bushwag gets three three until end of turn. Somewhere, somewhere out there, somebody has pumped this sucker to be a 10 10 and won a game, I guarantee you. Just look at the look on his face. He's so smug. He's arrogant. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, okay. Uh, coil bug. You have to excuse me from my last video. I was uh, feeling a little bit, quote, under the weather, weather a.k.a. had had a couple beers. Uh, that was a video where I destroyed the cards inadvertently. Um, but it was a fun ride. I just rewatched it. It's, it's always good to make fun of yourself. Uh, we got it. Nope. What are we looking at here? Nope. No foil again. Foiled again. Oh my god, you've done it again. Here we go. Mythic Subduel. Two for an enchantment. Enchant a creature. Flash. It gets minus two and loses all abilities. Okay, I mean, in draft, if you're looking for a quote removal. Uh, another one of these damn crystals. Didn't I just pull this one? I did. I just pulled the same crystal. Man, the sorting on this box, is these boxes, is just incredible. I mean, I swear to you, I, I and, and, and I, I, we've discussed it before. Uh, okay, discard X cards, target player draws X cards, channeled force deals X damage up to one target creature player. Um, that's actually not bad, depending on the deck. If you are, uh, yeah, if you're doing damage to pe people every time you draw cards, that could be, yeah, I mean, Lotus God, not bad in that deck, right? Like, Lotus God could use this. So, yeah, target yourself. Oh, what do we get here? We got a rare. It's a 5-4 for, oh, it's this shark thing. Uh, voracious Great Shark. This is 
the 5-4 for 5 flash when Voracious Great Shard enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell. Uh, it's a rare time, a rare moment in time where I'm holding 5 mana in EDH. Um, you really got to know what's coming or, yeah, this is a weird one. I mean, I might flash it in as a trick defense tactic or something, but yeah. All right, we're at 10 minutes. Let's do one more. That'll leave me three for the next video. So we'll do one more. Look at that. See that? I didn't do that. I don't think I did that. I mean, it's a token, right? But that surface damage is already there. I did not do that. Because when I cut cards, I cut the shit out of them. This is amateur hour. Anyway, let's see what we got last back. Oh, we got a haste 5-5 five, five for 4. Yep. Vigilant Cat. They're all vigilant, though, aren't they? Another Goomer Bell. I mean, I could, yeah, see, it's the same same as last pack, almost. I complained about, yeah, see, here we go. It's, it's almost identical to the last pack. Seriously. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's commons. I get it. They sort the commons. But Almighty Bushwag, that's five. Mutual Destruction. Play this Flash. Another cat. Three, one. Anticipate. We know what that does. We don't know what this does. Never will. And no foil. <laughs> oh, but we got another one. I think I've pulled like four of this variant art. I mean, where you got this flying wolf thing that looks high as a kite, high as hell, uh, staring at the bee thing. It's a peacock bee, I bet. All right, let's see what our uncommons and our rare are. Uh, when Keen Sight Men enters the battlefield, put a vision counter on target non-human creature control. And then for two and tap, Put a 1-1 counter on each con creature we control with vigilance. So there's a cycle of these, obviously. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, easy Prey. Destroy target creature with converted mana cost 2 or less for 2. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. Play Murder or Doom Blade or something. Uh, okay, something weird. Oh, no, that's two of these weird arts in the same pack. Is that supposed to happen? Porky Parrot. <laughs> that's awesome. That name is freaking awesome, Porky Parrot. And look at this poor guy. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. He just stands there all day, cursing the god that made him a Porky Parrot. <laughs> uh, I'll read it even though it says mutate because I don't think I've seen this one. Uh, tap, this target creature deals X, where X is the time it's mutated. So you tap it to do one. So he's a little Timmy if you mutated him. Oh, that is fabulous. I, I hope the end is, is quick and painless for you, Porky Parrot. You poor bastard. All right, what do we got? We have a rare. Uh, and it's an ultimatum. So much text. So we got the, uh, didn't we just get the, um, yeah, I think one pack ago we got the thing that would help you cast this ultimatum. Yeah, so there, you get that, that you're halfway there. So it's a sorcery. It says, search your library up to three monocolored cards with different names and then exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card in your library. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana costs. Wow, that could get really bad. Um, yikes. Huh. Especially in black, green, and blue. Uh, blue, I might have a hard time thinking of what to do there, but, I mean, I could see throwing shield red out there and, um, you know, Crater Hoof Behemoth or something like that. And, like, you know, ugh. Either one is terrible. Ugh. Okay, decent packs, I guess. I can't get over this. You just look at this guy one more time. Look at this poor bastard. <laughs> if I look like that, I would kill the nearest living thing to me immediately. Ugh. <laughs> oh, boy. 